arm. Quad 6.6. All right, let's show you this built-up Warpig 114. This is what I'm calling this uh, Gen 5 frame. And this is built in one of my Captain Insano. It's Captain Insano Light with the Flywood 1202.5 motors. These are 11,500 kV motor. Kind of intended for 1S, but I'm flying them on 2S. And I've got it on these Gemfan 2512 props, so these little tri-blades. Um, and with this, one of the keys to this build is this frame, which I've designed to really control the frame resonance and really allow especially on this kind of a build with these really clean motors, clean props, to fly super low filtering. So I've got like next to no filtering. I'm just using um, RPM filter and the D slider at two. The gyro slider is all the way off and I'm not using any dynamic notches. And despite that super low filtering, I can still bring this down with reasonable temperature on the props, which is, or on the motor, sorry, which is kind of amazing. Um, you need a really good performing quad. This is on the Tune RC board. So this is the new Poly F405. Uh, it's got the BMI uh, 270 gyro, BMI something. Um, trying to fly and think at the same time is a little bit hard. Um, but anyways, that board is working out really well for me. Uh, the gyro, I'm not seeing any problems with it. And I think, you know, if we can't get that MPU 6000, this is a really nice gyro. Um, so the key here is with that super low uh, filtering, we've got crazy low latency, and that really lets these props come alive. So normally, on, you can still see a little bit of here, a little bit of uh, prop wash there, and I couldn't completely get it out, but it's really close to out. And um, the reason we can do that is because of the low latency. That's what gets rid of the prop wash, and being able to run high D without smoking the motors. And that's the really key to this build. Now, I'm flying this on the smaller battery that I fly it with, so you're going to see the flight time being fairly short here, because this is that GMD 530 yellow label. Um, this also flies really well on the R-Line 550, which is slightly bigger, and that's going to give you an extra 30, 40 seconds of flight time, um, which might be what you want. Um, so if you want a little bit of nimbleness, you'd go with the smaller battery. If you want the flight time, you go with the bigger battery. And it's your choice. In either case, this is going to fly great. I will um, post up, you know, once I fully have this tune 100% where I like it, um, I'll post that up, get some presets going, and um, get that up there for you so it's more of a plug and play kind of thing. So, yeah, Warpig 114, here's your, you know, proof of concept. Does this frame, uh, frame fly well? Um, absolutely, it does. I'm really liking it a lot, um, especially on some of these more powerful builds that I've been flying. Um, I just killed that prop, so that brings this particular flight to the end. You can see our battery bumping up to 7.3, so I probably had another 30 seconds. So this would give us like a 3.30 flight time, which is pretty good. The R line's going to bump you up above 4 minutes, and you can see on that flight I wasn't holding anything back. Um, but this is a really interesting combination between a quad that I can get in, and it's super nimble, super locked in for that tight proximity stuff, but still has enough weight to be able to huck, and it's a really nice build. All right, until next time, cheers.